Back in September, I headed to Scotland with my backpack, hoping to spend one month living out of my tent and exploring the stunning and diverse landscape of the Highlands. During my time, I decided to climb Ben Nevis, which comes in at 1,345 metres above sea level, crowning it the tallest mountain in the UK. Ben Nevis is based near Fort William and was first summited in 1771. The peak can be accessed by the main track but was built for ponies back in 1883 or the ledge route on the north face which is quite challenging involving some rock climbing. I hope you enjoy this video of my experience climbing Ben Nevis. I am super happy to now be able to hang the Ben Nevis charm on my Apex International Zip. This will now hang on my backpack. It is a extremely chilly morning. By the looks of it, it looks like there was a frost last night. I'm currently in Glen Nevis campsite, just under Ben Nevis. So it's literally 500 meters or so to the foot of Ben Nevis. And that is my plan today, to climb the tallest mountain in the UK. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be very exciting and it's my first time ever climbing it. So I've just got all my, some of my gear in my backpack and I'm leaving the rest here because it's going to be like a base camp. So um, that's the whole idea of booking this campsite, somewhere to leave a lot of my heavy items. I will be taking the tourist route. So this is the most popular, really used route and there might be a quite a few people up there today. It's supposed to be a really lovely sunny day today and quite warm so this is why I picked today for some nice clear conditions and actually see some nice views at the summit. Yesterday was awful, it was like quite heavy rain throughout most of the day and I came here and set up my tent and just been looking at the route and sorting all my gear out because two days ago I just finished walking the West Highland Way so that is the 98 mile, 96 mile walking trail across the West Highlands of Scotland so I just finished that a couple of days ago but it is really chilly it's supposed to be below freezing at the top I think it's like minus three minus four right at the top so it's going to be really cold I've made sure I've got a lot of warm gear with me and I'm just taking a backpack with like the main essentials that I'll need it is quarter to eight and I've left the campsite now I'm just walking along the road I've literally this morning just taped my feet up and put blister plasters on as my feet are still really wrecked from the West Highland Way walk. Just so many blisters and sores. Finally, I've reached the Glen Nevis visitor centre. Not even going to begin to pronounce that Scottish name. So walking down that road there is so much frost. So it clearly did frost last night and it got really cold. I wouldn't have known because I was in my sleeping bag and I was pretty toasty but you can definitely feel it this morning. It is the coldest day since I've been in Scotland.
it's pretty pretty um, easy at the minute there's no big inclines yet and it's just following these this stone like loads of rocks after rocks so it's like climbing stairs pretty much but not too steep already there's a beautiful view you can just see the sun hitting the mountains opposite but I'm going to carry on plenty of streams as well if I wanted to top up my water I've got my soya squeeze with me but I have got three litres of water anyway just in case and it's going to be a really hot day apparently so be drinking plenty of water staying hydrated but I can't wait to see the summit It'll be amazing especially with these views I'm nearing the top now it's starting to slowly get quite cold all the grounds covered in like frost and there's some ice as well so I'm just watching not to slip over So I've just met up with Freya Hello. and I forgot hey. their names already. <laughs> Jerry, Georgia and Minnie. Yeah, <laughs> just met up with these four. We actually did the West Highland Way and we met up on there, didn't we? We did, yeah. And we, we bumped into each other at the top. Yeah, exactly. It was so weird seeing, like, bumping into each other. What a coincidence. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so it's really nice to have a little catch up and hear about what you're doing and things like that. Yeah. How did you find the West Island Way? Though? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Like, it was more difficult than I thought. Like, um, I guess 
I can I thought oh well I've been to New Zealand surely it can't be as exciting but yeah I absolutely loved it and the weather was like amazing it was it was wasn't it it was so good the only downside was the middies I think yeah they were bad yeah. <laughs> and you wild camped a lot of it as well didn't you yeah we did yeah just um one time we stayed in a pod like with four beds, which is really nice. Yeah. But um, yeah, most of the time, wild camp. How was the pod? Because I remember you saying that you were going to say in that. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was super nice. Um, oh. had our own little TV. Oh, <laughs> bit of luxury. I know, right? Ah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was so nice. <laughs> so that's for you, everyone. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> little feature on the channel. <laughs> oh, there's Jerry. And Minnie and Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> we got there eventually. <laughs> so I am back on the road and I'm walking back to my campsite. So that is Ben Nevis done and dusted. Really enjoyed it. I'm just gonna walk back into my campsite and sort my gear out. Lovely day still though, it's been absolutely beautiful. I'm now back at my camp spot for the night. So I'm gonna stay here probably and stay the night and then see where I'm off for tomorrow. I'm not too sure yet. Just probably bum around Scotland for like the rest of my time here. Amazing hike though, I really enjoyed it. It wasn't too difficult, I imagined it to be a lot worse. It's probably worse coming down the actual climb than going up it. Um, if you keep a nice pace it's pretty, pretty decent. And it was so mad meeting them four lovely girls from the West Highland Way. It was crazy meeting them up there, what a coincidence. But yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that. It's definitely worth it. And it was mental views, loved it. So beautiful up there and some really great people. So I hope you enjoyed this video of me climbing Ben Nevis. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to all my subscribers and my Patreons. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna think about cooking dinner now as I'm quite hungry and just enjoy the sun. It's absolutely lovely weather.